Welcome to this short tutorial on joining two string variables using Python. This simple, easy to use video shows you how to create two static variables and join them in Python. Then we will modify the code and ask the user for inputs using the Python input function. Okay, now let's watch Philip Matusiak from DRM Development show us the code. Let's now join some strings using Python. So if we create a couple of variables, first name, and we're going to set that equal to Bob. Now we're going to create a second variable for last name. Last name equal to Smith. So both of these variables are going to be strings. We can use the join operator, which looks like the addition operator symbol or the plus symbol. We can create a variable full name equal to we call our first name variable. We're going to put a join in. We're going to put one character space between the first name and last name, and then we're going to join last name. Now, if I want to print full name just to make sure it works, I can use the built in print function, find my full name variable. I'm going to go ahead and run this code block, and it should print out my full name. And there we see it says Bob Smith. Now I can even ask the user to enter the first name and last name. I'm going to go ahead and comment out that first name variable, but this time I'm going to ask the user to input the first name. First name equal to, and I'm going to use the input function, input, enter your first name. This will give me a prompt so the user can enter their first name. And then I'll do the same thing for last name. Make this a little more dynamic. Equal to input. And then I'm going to give a prompt. Enter your last name. So I'm going to use these built-in inputs. That comes out of Python's core. And then my full name equals first name. And then join this base and the last name, and I'll print the full name. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and run that code. And my prompt says enter your first name. Go ahead and put in Bob inside that prompt. Enter. Enter your last name Smith. And then it's going to take those two variables and it's going to print out my Bob Smith. So there's a simple join of two variables. Thank you, Philip, for that code demonstration. We have several one-on-one -on -one group and public training options available, so contact Philip at DRM Development for more information and watch for more video drops.